Welcome back. In video 6, we will be preparing adjusting entries. Adjusting entries are needed whenever financial statements are prepared to ensure that the company's books are properly updated. They involve one income statement account and one balance sheet account. Adjusting entries never involve cash. Adjusting entries can also be classified into two categories, deferrals and accruals. Deferrals are recorded items of revenue or expense that are recognized at a later date. These are prepaid expenses and unearned revenue. Accruals are items of revenue or expense that have not yet been recorded. These are accrued revenues and accrued expenses. Prepaid expenses are expenses which are paid before they are used or consumed. These costs typically expire through the passage of time. Example, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, or true use, example, supplies. Adjusting entry for prepaid expense will debit or increase an expense for the expired or used portion and credit or reduce the prepaid expense account. Failure to record an adjusting entry will result in an understated expense and an overstated asset account. Here's a sample adjusting entry for prepaid rent. Assume that on June 1st, ABC Company paid $12,000 upfront for six months' rent. The original entry to record a payment on June 1st debited prepaid rent $12,000, credited cash $12,000. Adjusting entry on June 30th to recognize one month rent expense is calculated by taking $12,000 and dividing by six or $2,000. Therefore, the adjusting entry on June 30th to recognize one month rent expense would debit rent expense 2000 and credit prepaid rent 2000. After the adjustment, the prepaid rent account balance 10000 and the rent expense balance is 2000. Here's a sample adjusting entry for prepaid insurance. Assume that on March 1st, Coffee Exports Inc. paid $3,600 for two-year insurance policy. The original entry to record payment of policy on March 1st debited prepaid insurance $3,600, credited cash $3,600. The adjusting entry on June 30th to record four months of insurance expense is calculated as follows. $3,600 divided by 24 months equals $150 a month times four months equals $600. Therefore, the adjusting entry to record four months of insurance expense would debit insurance expense 600 and credit prepaid insurance 600. After the adjustment, the balance in prepaid insurance is 3000 and the balance in insurance expense is 600. Here is a sample adjusting entry for supplies. Assume that on January 15, a company purchased 1850 of supplies on account. At the end of June, only 300 of supplies remains in the storeroom. Therefore, the amount of supplies used up is 1,550, or 1,850 minus 300. The original entry to record the purchase of supplies on January 15 debited supplies 1,850 and credit accounts payable 1,850. The adjusting entry at the end of June to record supplies used would debit supplies expense 1550 and credit supplies 1550 after adjustment the balance in the supplies account is 300 and the balance in the supplies expense account is 1550 depreciation if a company uses long lived asset in its business the usefulness of these assets will decline Similar to prepaid expenses, as a business uses its plant's asset, an adjusting entry is required to allocate the asset's cost over its useful life in a process called depreciation. The adjusting entry debit a depreciation expense account and credit accumulated depreciation a contra asset account. 
the accumulated depreciation account accumulates all depreciation expense recorded and is paired with and listed immediately after its related account in the balance sheet. Its normal balance credit is the opposite of the normal balance of the related asset account, which is a debit. Here's a sample adjusting entry for depreciation. A company acquires a machine for 18000 on February 1st by signing a note. It has an estimated useful life of five years, and the company uses the straight-line method of depreciation. The original entry to record purchase on February 1st debited machinery, 18000 and credit notes payable, 18000 the adjusting entry on June 30th to record five months of depreciation expense is calculated by taking 18,000 divided by five years times 512 or $1,500. This assumes no previous adjustments. The adjusting entry, therefore, would debit depreciation expense 1,500 and credit accumulated depreciation machinery, 1500 After adjustment, the balance in depreciation expense is 1500 and the balance in accumulated depreciation machinery is also 1500 Notice that the asset account is never adjusted for depreciation. It retains the original cost paid for the asset. On earned revenue are cash received before services performed or goods or merchandise is delivered. They represent liabilities on the company's books since the company has an obligation to deliver goods or services in the future. Here is the sample adjusting entry for unearned revenue. Johnson Publishing sold 30000 of annual subscription to its popular monthly magazine. All subscriptions were sold on April 1st. The original entry to record sale of subscription on April 1st debited cash 30000 credited on earned revenue 30000 The adjusting entry on June 30th to record three months of magazine subscriptions fulfilled is calculated as follows. 30000 divided by 12 months multiplied by three months is 7500 the adjusted entry, therefore, would debit unearned revenue 7500 and credit magazine subscription revenue 7500 After adjustment, the magazine subscription revenue account has a balance of 7500 and the unearned revenue account has a balance of 22500 Accrued revenues are service performed merchandise delivered, interest earned, and dividends declared during the period that has not yet been recorded or collected. Failure to record accrued revenue results in understated asset and understated revenue accounts or accounts. Here is a sample of just an entry for accrued sales revenue. At the end of the fiscal period, it is highly unlikely that all sales made at the end of the period will be recorded. To ensure that all sales are properly recorded, an adjusting entry is prepared. Example, Xavier Company shipped 2,400 of merchandise to a customer. Terms, FOB shipping point, on the last day of the fiscal period. This transaction was not recorded in the company's books. The adjusting entry to record a transaction on June 30th would debit accounts receivable 2,400 and credit sales revenue 2400 Here is a sample adjusting entry for accrued interest income. If the company has outstanding notes receivable on which interest is accruing, an adjusting entry is needed to record or accrue the interest earned to the date of adjustment. Example: Assume that a company has a 90-day 15,000 notes receivable with a 10% interest outstanding. None. The note was signed on April 30th. Interest to be accrued is calculated as follows. 15,000 times 10% times 61 over 360 days equals $254.17. The adjusting entry on June 30th to record interest income earned 
with debit interest receivable two fifty four seventeen and credit interest income two fifty four seventeen. Accrued expenses are expenses that have been incurred but is not yet recorded or paid as of the adjustment date. Failure to accrue expenses result in understated expense and understated liabilities. Here's a sample adjusting entry for accrued expense. At the end of the fiscal period, there may be various bills or expenses incurred which have not been paid or recorded. An adjusting entry is needed to record the expense. Example, the company received a bill of $375 for utility used. This expense has not been recorded. The adjusting entry on June 30th to record utilities expense would debit utility expense 375 and credit accounts payable 375. The sample adjusting entries for salaries and wages expense. Assume that the company's weekly payroll is 5000 for a five-day work week. On June 30th, the company owes employees for three business days' work since the last pay date. The salaries and wages due employees for work since the last pay date is calculated as follows. 5000 divided by five days multiplied by three days is 3000 Therefore, the adjusting entry on June 30th to record or accrue salaries and wages expense would debit salaries and wages expense 3000 and credit salaries and wages payable 3000 Okay, now that we understand the need for adjusting entries, let's review Minnelli Landscape's Designs Transaction for November. Based on our review, an adjusting entry is needed to record 1. Depreciation expense on equipment purchase on November 2nd. 2. Office supplies used during November. 3. Prepaid insurance that expired during November. 4. Design fees earned on or near end of the month but not recorded. 5. Other expense incurred but not yet recorded at the end of November and 6. Salaries and wages expense incurred but not yet recorded or paid. Adjusting Entry 1. Depreciation Expense. Assume that equipment purchased on November 2nd has a useful life of 7 years. Also assume that the company uses the straight line method to compute depreciation expense. The adjustment for depreciation is calculated as follows. 10,000 divided by 7 years and divided by 12 months or $119.05. Therefore, the adjusting entry on November 30th to record one month's depreciation expense would debit depreciation expense $119.05 and credit accumulated depreciation $119.05. And five cents. Just in entry two, office supplies used. At the end of November, Minnelli Landscape Design still had six fifty of the office supplies purchased on November six in its storeroom. The adjustment to record office supplies used equals a thousand minus six fifty or three fifty. Therefore, the adjusting entry on November 30th to record office supplies used would debit office supplies expense 350 and credit office supplies 350. Adjusting entry 3, insurance expired. Minnelli Landscape Design purchased a one-year insurance policy on November 15th. Adjustment needed to record insurance that has expired as of November 30th is as follows, 900 divided by 12 and multiplied by 15 over 30 days is 3750. Therefore, the adjusting entry on November 30th to record insurance expense would debit insurance expense 375 and credit prepaid insurance 375. Adjusting entry 4, accrued revenues. Assume that Minnelli Landscape Design completed a last-minute job for 500. The customer was billed for the order. The adjusting entry November 30th to crew revenue would debit accounts receivable 500 and credit design fees 500. Accrued expense. Adjusting entry 5. Accrued expenses. 
Assume that Minnelli Landscape Design received a bill for utility expense of 100. This bill has not been paid or recorded as of November 30th. The adjusting entry on November 30th to record or accrue utility expense would debit utility expense 100 and credit accounts payable 100. Adjusting entry number 6, accrued salaries and wages expense. Assume that 750 of salaries and wages expense has been incurred since the last pay date and has not yet been recorded or paid. The adjusting entry on November 30th to accrue salary and wages expense would debit salaries and wages expense 750 and credit salaries and wages payable 750. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. The next step in the accounting cycle is to prepare an adjusted trial balance. To learn how to prepare an adjusted trial balance, go to video 7.